Okay, today we're gonna make some raw coconut milk. It's a couple steps to the process, but definitely worth it. It's a tropical delicacy. So we take some uh, mature coconuts. They look like this. This is about as mature as they get. After this, they just kind of start to turn brown and then eventually they fall off the coconut palm. And so I'm gonna cut it open. We collect the water in the jar here, which is used uh, when we put the meat in the blender. So it's a, it's a necessary part. And then if there's extra, we'll drink it. This is the coconut meat. We've already taken some out of a couple of nuts. It's pretty thick. It kind of snaps when you break it. It's got a nice oil content to it. So we'll rinse this off and throw that in the blender. But first I'm gonna open a couple more coconuts. Make sure we have enough. I like to take a chip of the coconut shell, which usually just comes off on its own like that, to uh, cut out the meat when I pour out the water. It's a nice non-metallic way to do it. So there's not a whole lot of water in that one. You'll see when I cut it open how big it is. This is on the small side for a coconut, as far as kernel compared to husk. And because it's older, it already has less water in it, so that's why there's just a really small amount in these. Let me take a knife, pry out the meat. If you want, you can quarter the coconut. It makes it easier to get the meat out. And there is a special tool that will just kind of scoop it out all at once, but I don't have that. Okay, now we're ready to take this inside and put it in the blender. So the final step before we put this all together in the blender is to rinse it off, get any little bits of the shell off, if there's any last bits of shell because that won't blend and it won't strain. And then we're gonna cut it into small pieces on the cutting board. The smaller the better, it makes it easier to blend because we have to do a lot of manipulation in the blender to get it into a consistency that will actually take into one liquid form. This is some uh, coconut cream that I made earlier in the week. It started out as coconut milk, and I had some extra, so I threw it in the fridge, and the next day it was separated into coconut cream and coconut water on the bottom. And uh, just made a little hole in the top, drank out the coconut water, and was left with this. And it's this really yummy, oily treat. It's very dense, lots of nutrition. So we got our wooden spoon, coconut meat, coconut water. Ideally, you would use the plunger that actually goes with this blender, but I don't have it with me. I'm gonna put in, actually I'm just gonna put in all the coconut water because we're gonna need it. Potentially add more meat because this is a pretty thin mixture and you can see it's not extremely sticky. I'm gonna take the lid off. It's kind of just water and 
coconut meat in there. It's not really thick or gooey. So we could add more meat since there's a good amount of moisture in here, but the blender's already getting hot. You can smell the motor. So I'm just gonna leave it at this consistency and we'll squeeze it out. Using this uh, paint strainer bag, you can get it at any wear store or paint store. And when you get them out of the package, um, it's a good idea to just soak them in boiling water for a little bit and then wash them with soap and water. And uh, it takes away a lot of the paraben plastic smell and I think they're fine to use after that. Okay, so we got our clean bowl, our paint strainer bag. These are cool, I got elastic. So you can just put it right here. And I'm gonna try to pour the concoction into the bottom of the bag. Since I'm gonna, well you'll see. Again, if you want to make it easier to blend or easier to get out of the blender or you want to make it to drink and you don't want it to be extremely rich and fatty, you can add more liquid. You could do water, coconut water if you have it. You know, the sky's the limit. But for this purpose, we're going to be making sort of a curry sauce and I want it to be as thick as possible. So the less water you add, the better. So I twist the top as I go to kind of keep it all in one place so that the mass doesn't come up to the top of the bag. We're really only using a small amount of the bag. So this is the final step and you can do this as long as you want to or as short. It's, uh, at a certain point you just don't get very much more out of it. So you gotta know when to quit. Mm. How is it? Super good. Yum. Mm. So frothy. Yeah. And mm. fresh. It's the stuff. So good. <laughs> there you go. And that's how you make coconut milk. Alrighty. That's how you add it to curry. Yeah, this isn't like that hot. We can just kind of put it in if you guys want. I want. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's oh, put, yeah. Let's put some of it. <laughs> Take it there. You know, put all do, the... Yeah, we could do a whole bunch. Yeah. Uh, Look at that. That's, mm -hmm. that's, yep. That seems good. Yep. That's dinner. There we go.